today, Will Young arrived at this London studio. He was the first and most successful winner of Pop Idol and has since gone on to win multiple Brits and sell over two million albums. But how will he handle hosting his own entertainment show? Let's find out, as now it's time for... Scouting for girls. But here he is, please give a big welcome to our host, it's Will Young! Good evening, and welcome to the Sunday Night Project. Children's favourite Sooty turned 60 yesterday. Despite his age, the little yellow bear still looks as good as ever. Although, I have to say, co-star Sue has let herself go a bit. <laughs> After a ten-day bender with a Russian teenager, Rolling Stone Ronnie Wood finally checked himself into a clinic on Wednesday, which he chose for its state-of-the-art spa facilities. <laughs> And finally, I've had a great summer doing the festivals, Glastonbury, Tea in the Park. In fact, I was meant to be doing another one this weekend, but it just didn't sound like my kind of thing. <laughs> OK, let's get on with the rest of the show. Please welcome tonight's musical guest, Scouting for Girls! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> you hot ass. <laughs> you look amazing. That. Thank you very much. Do I look alright? You look lovely. You both look lovely. Oh, thank you. I think I look like a French maid. <laughs> <laughs> Will, there's been no album for a while. No. Where have you been? What have you been doing? I did a play at the end, oh no, last year, and then I took a bit of time out because I thought I'd been working quite hard yes. for about five and a half years. Uh, and then I've been doing the new album, which will be coming out sometime in autumn. So what was yeah. the play? Uh, the Vortex in Manchester. What the best place. The and we ran into each other, didn't yeah. we? Yeah. On the street. You ran into Will Young in the Vortex? Yes. <laughs> it's not a gay bar, that is a play. <laughs> 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 I love that one. Yeah. <laughs> My God, didn't recognise you with your gimp mask on. <laughs> oh, I wish there was a gay club called the Vortex. I would have it. It's got to be. Uh, so then you, you chillaxed for a bit. I chillaxed, <laughs> yeah, and then I got on with the album. And uh, it's done now. It's great. Should we have a look at some of your hits? Yes. Should we see a montage? Yeah. OK. <laughs> Because that's where we, we first saw you, we first recognised you and, and got to know you. It was... When was it now? It was ages 2002. ago. 2002. Yeah, Goodness that was where, when the final was. Yeah, February 2002. The panel then is, was very different to the panel that we, we know now. Yeah, Let's have a look at the original lineup. All right. There's Foxy, <laughs> Nicky Chapman, the legendary Mr Peter of Waterman. <laughs> and who's the guy with the finger? I don't know who that is. Who's that guy with the dark hair looking miserable? It's sin. Is it Shaken Stevens? Is it Shaken... <laughs> 
can I ask you what you really thought of Mr. Cowell? Well, he was. All right. I mean, we had we had this sort of famous um, clash, which kind of was great for me because I was quite a sort of shy, retiring person, and then he kind of brought out this other side, so it was great for me. And then, and then he apologised the next week, I think it ran like that, yeah. on TV, and then after that it was fine. I don't know if he was a massive supporter of me, and I, I know he said that, but um, he was man enough to say sorry. What was it like in that audition room, you know, with all the freaks? <laughs> <laughs> Have a number one, Simon. Like when you were. <laughs> you know, why do always the women sing? I'm out of love. <laughs> why, they, why do they always do that? It's true. Left outside alone. Oh, <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean? Why? It's <laughs> a nice song. I didn't. I didn't. Um, I think they have got a bit freakier. I don't remember it being so freaky then. I mean. Was there was... anyone that you stuck out in your head and went, oh, my God, there's this woman <laughs> One shoe on and a Lidl's bag on her. <laughs> <laughs> what are you singing? <laughs> I'm out of love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> But I think it is different now. Oh, Will is so <laughs> fit. He's such a hunk. He's such a dish. to see your pervert. No, I think it's about the right timing and obviously... Get out my dream! Get out my dream! <laughs> <laughs> that was my fantasy! <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Will, when we meet up with a guest host, we like to try and make their dreams come true, don't we, love? Oh, yeah. Now, we know that you're a big fan of Most Haunted, the TV show. A huge fan. As are me and Al. So we hooked up together with Yvette Fielding and we went to a haunted house, didn't we? Yes, uh, the boys and I took part in our own version of the cult TV show. Take a look at this. Is that a headless man driving that? <laughs> Will! Oh, Will, it's you! Oh, oh Will. Will! Firstly, yeah. we're in Pluckley. This is the most haunted village in the whole of Britain. Oh, I bought my cross. <laughs> you won't need that, because we've got most haunted presenter, Yvette Fielding! Hello! To... Yeah! <laughs> 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 Hello, good evening, and welcome to Really Haunted. <coughs> right, chaps? All happy? Not really. Not really. Alan, do you have any paranormal experiences? I saw a ghost mm -hmm. at the uh, the Royal Theatre in Northampton. What yeah. about you, Will? Also in the theatre in Manchester and I got sent some white flowers and they flew off the shelf in my dressing room. 1987, yeah. we went to Barry Island Butlins and um, I tried to get to sleep one night and all I could hear was this. This particular building is very, very haunted. I've investigated this place myself. Stone projectiles will fly through the air, touching, touching on the back of the neck, oh, pulling like of the that. hair. Oh, that's nice. Okay. It's <laughs> exactly that foreplay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm have go something, chaps. Brilliant, perfect. Yeah. yeah. Yvette has brought us to Pluckley, widely regarded as the most haunted village in Britain. Our first stop was Elvey Farm, which is said to be haunted by the ghost of a farmer who committed suicide in the early 1900s. We were given our own night vision cameras and told to explore the house. Is well, there anyone in here? Well, where are you, love? Where are we going? Where are we walking? <coughs> Al? Yeah. All right, wait, love. Oh, mind the... <laughs> 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 so what are you doing, Stop it! <laughs> 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 